Hi there, I'm Michelle the Painter. Today I am on camera so I can officially announce the November Painting Contest winners. So I have a Patreon membership program whereby one of the benefits for the month is these painting contests. And the one for November is Spun Around Bridges, which was really cool because there's so many different architectural styles, different sceneries that people were putting them in, uh, from fantasy to surreal, all kinds of great depictions, which was very exciting for me to see, and I'm excited to show you who the winners are. But before I do that, I do want to talk to you a little bit about the Patreon membership program so you have a little more understanding as to what that is. <laughs> so it is a membership program that I have whereby we have not only these monthly painting contests, these larger monthly painting contests, but I also have mini pop-up contests, which are really fun, uh, that everybody gets to be involved in. We have monthly skill challenges. I have educational classes that we do. Um, we do the, I have a lot of exclusive tutorials for the memberships. Um, I do a paint my photo kind of session. Well, not session, but I allow the uh, Patreon members to send in their photos to me every now and again, whereby I'll turn them into YouTube tutorials, which is a great benefit. Um, and of course, I send off the original painting to that person too. <laughs> the, I have um, live paint sip classes with myself, which are one of my funnest times of the month as well because I get to interact with with you guys in a more personal way. We get to chit chat with each other. I get to see your stuff personally and talk with you and help you through your painting process. I do giveaways in our in our painting family group. I do personal critiques as well. So if you're looking for some uh, individual coaching or help on a particular piece. I'm here to to work through those kind of things with you. And we have our large community of like-minded painters in our loving Facebook pay, uh, Facebook group. It's a private Facebook group whereby the Patreon members get to kind of congregate and bounce things off of each other, work as a community with inspiring each other and educating each other and sharing their work and getting feedback and all kinds of wonderful stuff. So that is a lot of, of great benefits, benefits that are useful to increasing your painting and artistic skills. Uh, so if you're interested in checking that out, I do have that information down below. The um, November contest winners I have them broken down into two categories. I have Patreon Painters, which is the majority of the entries that come in. And once somebody wins in the Patreon Painter category, they get bumped up to the All-Star category. I have prizes for both categories. There's, thir there's three places, first, second, and third. So the third place in each category wins $50. The second place in each category wins $150 and the first place in each category wins $300. So not only is it a great place to um, to showcase your artwork, but you also get to win a couple extra dollars. You get feedback from your Patreon peers. And one of the most coolest things about this is that the winners are voted on by their Patreon peers. So it it's your your like-minded community that is sharing with you their thoughts and if they you know want you to <laughs> to rise to that victorious spot but you uh, you gain votes and information from the from from your peers which is excellent that's i for me it's such a valuable opinion to have as an artist the opinion from your fellow artists so it's really cool so the i'm going to go over the patreon painters first and then we'll go into the all-stars the third place for the patreon painters goes to shannon sawyer with Shizukasa. Shizukasa. <laughs> I don't know if I pronounced that right. I've been practicing on that pronunciation, but I probably didn't do it right. But anyways, this painting is beautiful. It's a great representation of a well-balanced painting. She's got our eye really going towards that focal point of this beautiful red bridge and woman with this gorgeous red robe. However, it's balanced nicely with these anchoring 
um, objects that she has from the large dark tree to the building over here even the 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 um, cherry blossom style type of trees up top are balanced with that pink in the background. So it's just very well balanced. So nicely done, Shannon, and congrats. The second place goes to Sarah Lunch with Lost Bridge. So I've had my eye on Miss Sarah for a little while <laughs> because she really is one of those artists who just naturally thinks outside the box. And I think it, it, she is creating these um, these compositions that to me are are just eye catchy. This one has so much energy. It's moody. It's it's got drama to it, and it's well executed on top of those things. So when when you're creating these things that you know you just want to uh, put your all your all your artistic thoughts into. It doesn't always have to be hyper realistic. It doesn't always have to have every color in the rainbow in it. It, it. Whatever you want it to say, you can do with minimal colors. You can do with minimal details. And this is just super cool. Like, I want to write a story about this, and I'm not even a writer. So, well done, Miss Sarah. So, the next, uh, the first place in our Patreon Painter category goes to Linda Sweeney with New York City Brooklyn Bridge Sunset. I, again, it, this is well balanced, but I'm not sure you guys can see the full on um, detail on on camera that this includes. So I'm just gonna show, I'm gonna tell you about it. <laughs> so I think this one gained a lot of attention because one from it, it, it had a quick glance. They're like, oh my god, it's a photograph. I, and I think what what made it feel like that is. Sure, she has a thousand lights on her buildings, but she didn't just go for the silhouette of black buildings and white lights. All of her buildings have different tones to them. She's got some brown ones, she's got gray ones, she's got a black one. She's got glow on some of her lights. So her lights are glowing on the building next to it. There's, you know, little windows in, in this one that look like there's probably an office building of sorts. So she really put a lot of thought and and attention to those kind of details. The ba the bridge is really balanced well and the perspective on it is great. So I think it's a very well-deserved victory, Linda. So the, um, the all-star category, the third place in that category goes to Jane Katamaki with, just leave me here. <laughs> so I think I would like to be left there as well. <laughs> it's just such a, a, a fantasy uh, little quaint village that I feel is magical. We've got a beautiful scrolling pink bridge and a church and a cottage style house. There's so much detail in this from the little frog to the to the cat. It, there's so much detail that it could have become overwhelming and almost too complicated to look at. But again, she found the, the balance in her bright colors versus her neutral colors. Her cottage is very neutral in a sense. The, the, um, the church, very neutral and kind of um, not a ton of color. Even her bridge doesn't have a ton of color. I know it's kind of pink, but it doesn't have a ton of color. So she was able to balance all of that great detail from the flowers, the, all the, the vibrant pops of flowers and the scroll work and the details, she was able to balance all of that well by not overdoing um, the too many colors or making them too saturated. So I think it's a very beautiful painting, Jane. So I congratulate you on your victory. The second place in the All Stars goes to Samantha Addy with Off to Work. <laughs> so this is beautifully executed. I think it's nostalgic. It's got a nostalgic feel to it with, you know, days gone by where we had the horses working for us and the farmers getting up at the crack of dawn to do all of their hard work, which there are many that still do that. But I think for myself, who's lived in a city once or twice or, you know, lived at the commercial aspect, this just is a very nostalgic feeling for me. She executed it well with all this beautiful stonework on her bridge. She's got her light coming, streaming behind the bridge as well as there's even a little bit kind of on this side of the bridge. And the, the details are just great. The 
the proportions with her horses and the person it just is very well done in a place where I would like to you know maybe go for a hayride on that on that carriage so well done Miss Samantha the first place in our all-star category goes to Venice Cox with Road Less Traveled so this one again holy cow what a lot of detail she put into it and the attention that was um, executed on this I for me this one it, it there's there I, I feel the chill <laughs> like I feel the season that this person is walking down this um, I don't even know if it's an active train track it looks like it could be because it doesn't look like there's a lot of overgrown stuff but from this back um, hill with the hint of the autumn colors to the almost washed out grayish type of tone for the sky it might there almost looks like there might be a little snow here and the person's got the hands in the pockets with the hoodie sweatshirt <laughs> it just you can just feel the the temperature of it which i which is great and her attention to detail from the rocks to the wood to being in control of her tonal values so we didn't lose the gray pants on top of the gray um, train tracks so all of those little nuances helped to give this painting great depth great dimension great texture so it was it's a very well deserved win Venice so I do congratulate all of the winners but I also congratulate and thank everybody who participates in the monthly contest because it's you know obviously for the ones who enter it's a sense of bravery to me <laughs> because it takes a lot sometimes as an artist to, to say here's my artwork can you please give me your opinion on it which is a very tough thing to do when it's coming from your inner art artistic place um so uh, everybody who sends it in i i congratulate you and i thank everybody who participates because you help to foster and um encourage others to just you know do their thing and do their art thing and that is very important to for the growth of an artist so I do have all of the information for next month's contest as well as the patreon program I have all of that information down below in the video description so again thank you everybody who participates in these contests